Give me the bread. And guess what, Key? What? I'm getting promoted next week to the crane unit. Well, it's about time. Tony fell off a platform and broke both his legs. Ain't that a break? What'd you do, push him? There you go, always thinking the worst of me. Oh, well, with the baby coming, we can sure use the extra money. It don't take a baby for that. What's keeping Julie? She's upstairs dressing. Oh, now we're dressing for dinner. If she can't eat with the rest of us, she oughtn't to get no dinner. Shut up. Who are you telling to shut up? You heard me. Yeah, I heard you. Fred, don't talk like that to your father. I pay for my keep. I'll say what I want. Oh, sit down. Who's that? I'll see. It's for me, Ma. I'll get it. Give me the potatoes. Hello, Julie. You're early, Ray. I haven't had my supper. Oh, lots of time. Go ahead. I'll wait. Evening, folks. Hello, Ray. Pull up a chair and have some coffee. No, I'll just wait. Thought you got there, a machine gun? My trumpet. Say, I just learned a new number. I'm eating. Oh. Now that you're playing in a big nightclub, I suppose you're gonna quit the factory. Not right away. But I gotta quit the factory soon. You see, the work there is ruining my touch. Oh, get him, Harry James. Well, James had a start at the bottom, too. Yeah, but he could play. Ha! Why are you always belittling everyone? Where are you going tonight? With Ray. Where I work. You keep out of this. Every time Ray comes over, you pick on him. Since Ray took up with them musicians, I ain't sure he's the right company for you. A well, lot you care what's good for me. No daughter of mine's gonna run around in nightclubs. Well, the Black Cat's no nightclub. It's just a nice, quiet little place where fellas take their girls for a sandwich and a beer. I drink my beer at home. It's a new dress, ain't it, Julie? Yeah. Do you like it, Katie? Must have cost plenty. It's pretty, Julie. Thank you, Ma. Let's go. Well, so long, folks. What time you coming home? I've got a key. Hey, what Pa asked you? You keep out of this. The band plays till midnight. I'll bring her right home. Come on. Julie, am I late? Uh, we were just leaving. Gee, that's a swell dress. Well, it only cost nine seventy-five. Well, nice to have seen you, Helen. Good night. Oh, Helen's coming with us. Surprise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
looking at him like that, it won't take long. Now you're talking like my father. <laughs> Am I good or am I good? Don't answer. Drink up. Hey, how about a sandwich? No, thanks. Hello. I'm looking for you. What a break. Harry James is gonna listen to you. He, excuse me, ladies. He's down at the barber shop. I told Nick to give him a slow shave. <laughs> he doesn't know me. He will, he will. What a break. What a break. What a break. Don't leave. I'll be right back. I forgot this. I heard the foreman say they're going to lay off a bunch of girls at the factory. There's always another factory. I'd like to take an office job. But you gotta know how to type and take shorthand. Say, maybe we ought to go to business school, huh? Do you know any that are free? Yeah, but the time I pay my room and board, I just have enough to live on. Excuse me for living. Uh, you. Danny's the name, Danny Burke. My girlfriend's just dying to meet you. Yes. Well, you are. Do I or don't I? Suit yourself. Some dump. Oh, slumming. No, just broke. That's a swell way of looking for a job. What's your name? Julie. I'm Helen. Yes, I heard. You come here often? Since Ray start working here. He's a trumpet player. He's pretty good. I haven't seen you here before. I just got in town today. Where from? St. Louis. I've got another one in St. Louis. Paul Wilson. Paul Wilson? Uh-huh. Never heard of him. Cigarette? I don't smoke. If you're looking for a job, what about the factory? I don't think that's for Mr. Burke. There are a lot of things worse than working in a factory. Such as? Well... Goodbye, Helen. Goodbye, Julie. What a strange guy. It wasn't Harry James. Look at the moon. Yeah. It's up there. Hmm? What's up there? The moon. Oh, yeah. Well, guess where I say good night. So long, Ray. So long. Bye, Julie. Good night. What are you thinking about, Julie? Nothing. Julie. Yes? If only you weren't taller than me. What difference does that make? Good night, Julie. Good night. Good night. You haven't touched a thing, Julie. I'm not hungry. What's the matter? Ain't our food good enough for you? I wonder what's keeping Fred. Don't worry yourself, Katie. You've got to keep your strength. That's all we need is a brat in this house. You talk as though you didn't want me to have a baby. Fred, for a father, it can't amount to much. Oh, Pa, this is no time to aggravate Katie. Where have you been, Fred? No. I kept it warm for you. Your hands are dirty. You never heard no one. That's what you're doing! Fred, Pa, please. Fred, come on. Let me know. Get out of here. Get out of here. Come on. Go ahead. Get it.
I'll have a Pepsi. Make mine a beer. One Pepsi, one beer. Hello. find you. I'll be 30 cents. Keep it. Thank you. What did you do, rob a bank? No, I ran into an old friend. Gee, some friend. Have you had your dinner? No. Want to go anywhere? No. What's the matter? Do you have a fight with your boyfriend? <laughs> no. Don't lie to me. What makes you think I'm lying? Well, a girl like you just doesn't walk into a place and talk to any guy that comes along. You're not just any guy. You mean you came down here looking for me? Yes. Why? Because I thought I'd find you here and I didn't want you to be alone. Me alone? I got lots of friends. You didn't have the last time I saw you. You're a funny kid. You know that, don't you? Maybe I better go. Go where? Home. You want to go home? No. Then let's get out of here. Let's put our dreams together and blend them all in one. We'll dance apart. Been around the sun. Let's put our lips together high on a cloud up above. Let's open our eyes in paradise and wait. Danny, what's new that's nasty? Cute character. When did you get back to town? Yesterday. Oh, uh, Julie, this is May. I liked your song. It stank. Well, I'll see you later, kid. I like her. Yeah, all the kids here are pretty nice. Is Mr. Bigelow good for this? Okay. The usual, Stoney. Pardon me. I guess he's back in town, too. Danny, how do you know? Sitting right over there. I said Danny's back in town. I heard you. home again, huh? Yeah. I got lonesome. You don't look very lonesome. Julie, this is Irene. Hello. You're not very fussy about the kind of company you keep. See me before you go. Well, aren't you afraid? You heard what you said. Why should I be afraid? Maybe I am bad company. I don't think so. Will you excuse me a minute? You going to talk to her? Yeah. Well, what do you want? What do I want? Yeah. Do I owe you anything? It all depends upon the way you look at it. You mind? No, of course not. This your first time here? Uh-huh. Where are you from? I live in town. How long you known Danny? I only met him last night. I was just wondering. What are your plans? I'll get by. I suppose you broke. No, I uh, sold my car. 
How long do you think that'll last? Long enough. Then what? There's a lot of things I could do. I might even take a job in a factory. A factory? You? <laughs> What's wrong with that? Don't tell me that you're letting that sweet old thing in there put ideas in your head. No one tells me what to do. No one. Then I sang a year with the Follies. That was back in 19... That was a lot... Uh, that was some time ago. I bet you were good. I was sensational. I sing a little, too. Yeah? Well, take some advice, kids, and stick to the factory. Oh, you want one? I don't drink. Good for you. This stuff's poison. Come on, Julia, let's go. But we just got here. Yeah, I know. Something important came up. It's been awfully nice talking to you. Don't forget what I said, kid. Stick to the factory. When will I see you again? I don't know. Don't you want to see me again? Of course I do. It's just that I'll be busy for the next few days. Will you call me? Sure. Take care of yourself. I will. Good night, Dan. You know what time it is? Hey, that ain't Ray. Who is it? Well, this is Danny, Pa. Where'd you meet him? What's the difference? I met him in the place where Ray works. Oh, so he picked you up at a bar, huh? You get out of oh. here. Get in the house. Go on. Then we went to the Paradise Club. <laughs> yeah, but that was fun. Oh, we didn't stay very long. Danny had some business to attend to. What did he do? I don't know. Didn't you ask him? I don't care what he does. You got it bad, Julie. Hi. I called you up last night. Yeah, Ma told me. I had tickets for the fights. I'm sorry, Ray. Well, that's all right. Helen enjoyed it. <laughs> they sure were exciting. What are you doing tonight? Nothing. How about a date? All right. I'll pick you up at 7.30. You know, Ray's a swell guy. Uh-huh. He'll go places, too. Yes, he will. Of course, he can't take you to no paradise club. saved up. All I need is 320 more to buy the boys a couple of new instruments and some good arrangements. Then we can get a job at some regular spot uptown. Did you hear what I said, Julie? Uh, how long will it take you to save it? Oh, another six months if I don't get laid off. I know I'll make good. I'm sure you will, Ray. Six months isn't long, is it? No. Well, if things work out the way I planned, Julie, you think maybe we... We've got plenty of time ahead of us. Let's wait and see. Get in there. Get in there. Hey! Hey, hey, come here, come here. I got a winner. 20 games. What are you taking in? Candy bars or mint? What'll it be? Mint. This must be your lucky day. My lucky day? Hey, maybe it is. That gives me an idea. Dice don't fail me now. Oh, Ray, we shouldn't have come in here. I can't lose. Roll them. Hey, guys. You lose again. That's all for me. Come on. 
How much have you got left? Enough for car fare. And 20 packs of mints. Oh, Ray, and it took you so long to save that money. Well, instead of six months, it'll take eight months. John Smith, $30 or 30 days. Jane Doe, $30 or 30 days. John Smith, $30 or 30 days. John Smith. We have a lot of Smiths here tonight. $30 or 30 days. Ray Lawson. $30 or 30 days. Your Honor. $30 or 30 days. 30 days. Julie Rogers, $30 or 30 days. Julie Rogers, $30 or 30 days. 30 days. John Smith. Just a minute, Judge. I'll pay her fine. Pay the clerk. John Smith, $30 or 30 days. I'll pay you back. You won't have to. What's this? Your things. Mr. Burke here. Danny Burke. Don't know him. Are you sure? Positive. Thank you. Where are you going? Oh, I was looking for Danny. He left town. Where'd he go? He didn't say. Were you supposed to meet him here? You know, I only hoped he might be here. Locked out? Thrown out. Got any money? No. Well, if May don't mind, you can put up with her for the night. It's upstairs, second door to the right. Thank you. Irene said I could spend the night here, if you don't mind. Sure, that's okay with me. You got kicked out, huh? Yeah. What are you gonna do? Oh, I don't know. Do you think I'd get a job here? Doing what? Singing. I dance a little, too. Listen, kid, this is a tough racket. You prance around night after night with your back aching and your feet killing you, and for what? So a bunch of rummies can slobber in their drinks. I think I could take it. Ah, uh, take some advice, kid. Go on back home. I know it'd be tough having to swallow your pride, but best way, believe me. You don't know my father. Never take me back. You did? On account of Danny? Yes. Do you know where he is? Got no idea. When is he coming back? Who knows? Oh, ma'am, I don't seem to. Oh, take it easy, kid. You must have had a tough day. What got you up so early? Tears, honey. That kid was bawling all night. Oh, she'll get over it. Oh, I don't know. Irene's got it awful bad. What do you want me to do? Oh. Can I have an advance on next week's check? May, you've already drawn next month's check. But the kid ain't got a dime. What's her tough luck? 
Well, what can she do? She can't go back to the factory on account of her old man. She's a good-looking kid. Can she dance? She says she can. Well, then, there's a job for her right here. Well, what's the matter? Doesn't she want to work here? Well, I guess she hasn't got much choice. Thanks. I'm so nervous. Well, what are you nervous about? I feel I have two left feet. Who's gonna look at your feet? Come on, girls, snap out of it. And when you get out there tonight, do me a favor. Show me your personality. Smile! Don't say nothing in my contact about smiling. <laughs> All right, take it. How revolting. Come on, get going, get going. jail, 30 days. Gee, you look bad. Well, it wasn't good. I, I haven't seen Julie come out. Well, she doesn't work here anymore. She quit about a month ago. Oh. Well, I guess I'll drop over at the house. Well, she doesn't live home anymore. What do you mean? Her father threw her out. Threw her out? Where is she? She's all right. What do you mean she's all right? Where does she live? Where does she work? She's working at the Paradise Club. Paradise Club? Thanks. Right this way, please. Uh, how many in your party, sir? My party? Uh, one. A table for one right this way, sir. Yeah, never mind. I'll sit at the bar. Yes, sir? Uh, a glass of beer. We only serve it in a bottle. All right. What is the domestic? Domestic. That'll be all right. Give me a glass of milk, Stoney. Right, yeah. man. For my dog. Say, I'm looking for a friend of mine. It's here. Has your friend got a name? Julie Rogers. Julie? Oh, sure. She's backstage. Take it out of this. For both? Oh, yeah, sure. That'll be a half a buck more. Fifty cents? I'm sure you know what you're doing. Do you think I could see Julie now? Follow me. Wait here. get out? This afternoon. Are you all right? I feel fine. What's the matter, Ray? Well, I never saw you like this before. Is anything wrong? Aren't you cold? <laughs> oh, Ray. Well, I don't know what to say. I've got to go on a few minutes. I'll join you at the table. I'm leaving now. The show is short. Can't you wait? I don't want to wait. You don't like what I'm doing, do you, Ray? No, I don't. So 
Open, come in. Yes? Is Julie here? I'm her sister-in-law. Julie. Julie. Yeah. Relation. Oh, Kate. Come in, sit down. How's Ma? Ma, oh, she's fine. And Fred? Fred's not working today. Oh. How do you feel? The doctor says I'm doing fine. Well, I'm old enough to listen. How much do you need? Oh, Julie, I didn't want to ask you, but with Fred not working and... Take care of yourself and tell Mom I love her. How much did it cost you? Say me. I had a dream. Yeah, I know. About Danny. Do you think he'll ever come back? It'd be better for you if he didn't. What makes you say that? When you get stuck on a guy, you just leave yourself wide open for a lot of punishment. Haven't you ever loved anyone? Yeah. I loved a guy once. But that was a long time ago. If this is the real thing. Oh, snap out of it, kid. Forget him. I can't forget him. Stick around. I'll be waiting. Tomorrow's Saturday. Yeah, I know. There's a little matter of some dough that's due Saturday. Well? You get your dough. We better. I was just going to make a phone call. Go ahead. I'll wait. Get me Keystone 1882. We're funny guys. We like our loans paid on time. I said you'd get it. No answer, huh? Give her a chance, will you? Oh, to her. Yes, speaking. Danny. How much is it this time? We'll bring him over to the club tonight. Make it late. We'll be there. Well? We'll see her tonight. Where? At the Paradise Club. Paradise? Mm, I like that. Sit down, you're wearing out the carpet. Gee, you got a nice place here. Yeah. Must make a lot of dough, huh? I wouldn't know. Say, it's none of my business, but what's between you and her? You're right. It is none of your business. Don't get sore. I was only asking. Irene, this is Lou Davis. Pleased to make your acquaintance. How do you do? Well, what do you have, Mr. Davis? Call me Lou. What do you have? I don't drink. And nothing, Harry. I've been admiring your place. Let's get down to business. What's the hurry? How much do you want now? You tell her. I told him he couldn't pay it all. He wants it all? All or nothing. You're crazy. Think so? 
When do you want it? By tomorrow night. It's no go. The boys won't like it. Cheer up. You got 24 hours. Some pretty girls here. What do you know? Well, if it isn't the working girl's friend. Danny. What are you doing here? I work here now. Relax, I'm looking after her. The last show's over. Let's go someplace. What about your uh, friends? Oh, they'll excuse me. Yes, of course. Right, I'll go change. All right, wait for me outside. What's the idea of giving her a job? Haven't you got enough to worry about yourself? I asked you about her. This isn't helping things, Danny. Besides, she came looking for a job. I didn't send for her. Just say the word and I'll fire her. Girls like you, huh, Danny? Ready? Introduce me. I told you to wait outside. Treat them rough, huh? <laughs> I gotta try that sometime. Yeah. See you tomorrow. I'll be waiting. Danny. Julie. Why didn't you let me hear from you? I wasn't sure I was coming back. What happened? Where have you been? <laughs> not the first girl I ever went with. You've gone with a lot of girls. I guess I have. Did you feel the same about them as you do about me? No, I don't think I ever felt much about anyone. Maybe it's better that way. You can't get hurt. Don't ever fall in love, Judy. They don't pay off. That's good advice, but it came a little too late. I'm going away again, Julie. This time for good. Take me with you. You don't know what you're saying. You don't know anything about me. I don't care. I've been in trouble, Julie. I still am. I don't care. What makes you so sure? I couldn't be happy with anyone else. If I left you now, I'd be doing you a big favor. You know that, don't you? I know. You could meet someone else and live like other people. I know. But you need me, Danny. Yes, Julie, I believe I do. Tomorrow? Tomorrow. Grant. Lay off the kid. What do you waste your time for? Maybe I like her. You can't afford to like anyone. You threatening me? Just telling you what's good for you. You might as well know it now. I'm taking her away from here. That's just lovely. And how far do you think you'll get? She believes in me. You don't understand that, do you? I do. But what about Lou? The world's a big place. Let him try to find us. Oh, um, you won't say anything, will you, darling? You're no good, Danny. I don't know why we both love you. What are you doing here? You're late. 
We got a big investment in you. We can't afford to take chances. Irene backed out. That's bad. Got anyone else? No one. Better find someone by tomorrow. You know I can't. That's very bad. Saturday's got to be payday. Ever know Ben Schultz? He owed us dough, too. He sure could tell funny jokes. <laughs> but when his payday came around, he got the wrong idea. He tried to run away. He sure could tell funny stories. You know, you hurt my feelings tonight, Danny. That nice girl that came over to the table, you didn't even introduce me. That was nice, Danny. She looked different from the other girls. Nothing cheap about her. That's the kind of girl I'd like to meet. Well, I'm sleepy. Hope you don't mind. But how'd you get into this mess? When they gave me the money, I thought I could pay it back. What did you do with the money they gave you? It just went. Went where? I made some bad investments. What kind of investments? What's the difference? The money's gone and today's Saturday. All right. I'll go see. Will you, Julie? Don't worry about it. You better drink up. You need it. What's eating you? Leave me alone. You're getting soft, Danny. It doesn't wear well on a guy like you. Leave me alone, will you? Did you see her? No, she's not around. Julie sure has come up in the world. Where did she hear about the band? You show that Harry James. He's good, too. Who are you waving at? A friend of mine. Come on. Hello, Danny. Oh, hello. You know Ray. Yeah. Have you seen Julie? Not for a while. Well, she'll be in the show tonight, won't she? I don't know. Got in. Where is she? Uh, upstairs in her room. Thanks. Come on, Ray. Come in. Hello. What brought you here? Ray's got some news for you. Well, I finally made it. The Continental Club. We open there next week. You should hear some of these arrangements. They're out of this world. Oh, the outfit really jumps now. Isn't it wonderful? Well, I'm glad to hear it. That's what I want to talk to you about. Okay. Julie. Yes? Remember the plans we used to have? What plans? When the band got started, we'd add a singer. I haven't sung in a long time. Oh, it would only take a couple of rehearsals. Uh, well, gee, Julie, you act like I wasn't even here. I've got to go on a few minutes. Well, can I see you later? Call me tomorrow. Oh. Sure, Julie. Take the job? She told me to call her tomorrow. Did you tell her about the arrangements you had for her? I didn't get the chance. What's the matter with her? Hey, I think you've had enough, bud. Don't tell me when I've had enough. Well, why don't you go home? Oh, I can't sleep. Well, you can't sleep here. Brad. Hiya, sis. Oh, Katie and the baby. Oh, they're okay. Are you working? Well, I just can't get started. The guy's... Oh, you can't go on this way. You should be home now. What are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. I work here. Oh, come on. I'll get you a chair. Oh, uh, I don't need no help from you. What did you hit him for? 
Everything's luck. Bam, seven you win. Wham, snake eyes you lose. Remember the dice game? Yeah, I remember. Boy, I was sure alone. Thirty days in the jug. You ought to see the people I had to associate with. One fellow was fresh from a murder. I think he still had the knife on him. Feast your eyes on that. You remember him too, don't you? 
For night, Harry James is getting a shave. We just missed him. You mean they want to sign us up for six months? <laughs> and that ain't all. Take a look at page two. Oh, there ain't that much money. <laughs> I gotta take a run over to Skyrim. I got a big deal on. Have your boys sign that. With their right names. <laughs> Looks like you're really in. The night I came over to your room, the offer still stands. Oh, we have to have a singer. It's in the contract. You'll get one. I want you to. In here? They won't go for me. Hello, Danny. Oh, hello. Well? Irene wants you to come over right away. What's the matter? May's in bad shape. I'll get in touch with you later. Don't do anything foolish. offered me a job. Doing what? Singing with a band. How much did you want to pay? I didn't ask. What do you want to do, stay in a joint like the Paradise all your life? It's where I belong, isn't it? It's all right for a starter, but you'll never make any real dough there. But you can meet the right people there. People like your friend, Lou Davis. Lou Davis, that's all I hear is Lou Davis. Why don't you quit throwing him up to me all the time? You're getting just like Irene. I was waiting for that. Well, you got it. Danny, are you going in? No, I think I need some air. I'll go with you. Have this filled. Give her some relief. What's the matter with me? Doc says her lungs are in bad shape. The kind of life she's been living hasn't helped any either. Well, uh, I only kept as long as I did because I felt sorry for her. You'll have to get out of here. The the better. Yes, Doctor. Good night. Good night. I didn't know she was sick. Oh, I expected a long time ago. She's been eating her heart out ever since Ralph gave her the air. Who's that? Some guy. There's always some guy. Where's Danny? I left him on the street. Fight again, huh? What about this time? Lou Davis. There have been a lot of Lou Davis in Danny's life. He's the last in mine. I've heard that before. You have a good head on you, Julie. Keep it above water. I guess Julie has changed. I can't figure it out, can you? No, she worries too much. You never met her family, did you? Enough of them to get a rough idea. They're not bad people. Her father's a hard-working man. He just never understood her. Anyway, Julie and me are through. You are? Yeah, she walked out on me. But why? I don't know. I guess she just thinks I'm no good. I guess Julie has changed. Don't take it so hard, Danny. You know, Helen, you're a good kid. I'm not a kid. I'm almost 20. You want to go back to the Continental Club? Why? I like it here. You've got a date with Ray, haven't you? What if I have? Let our lips together High on a cloud up above Let's open our eyes in paradise
didn't finish what I had in mind, and I, I figured it couldn't wait. Forget it, Ray. I wouldn't sit in the continental club. Well, I turned down the contract. You got something better? We could go east and make just as much money on one night stands. The boys don't mind. Well, why do that? I think the change would do us all a lot of good. Especially me, huh? You've got to get away from everything, Julie. Ever since you met Danny... Danny? He doesn't mean a thing to me anymore. Then why do you stay here? I belong here now, Ray. You can't seem to get that through your head. You don't, Julie. You're just the same as you ever were. I only look the same to you. Stick to the Continental Club. You're on your way up, not down. That's the way you want it. That's the way. Feeling pretty good, aren't you? Why not? I haven't got a worry in the world. Good old Danny, back to normal. I think I need a vacation. You almost had one, with Lou footing the bill. I don't think that's funny. <laughs> Neither did Julie. Now you're starting. I'm way ahead of you. Who is she this time? No one you know. Think your good luck will hold out forever? As long as I need it. You know, everybody isn't as good-natured as I am. Your top's Harry. You look good enough. Don't wear out my brush. Irene, someday I'm going to do something for you. <laughs> Where have I heard that before? No, I mean it this time. Broke again, huh? Well, temporarily. I got a deal. That's all? That's all I've got. I'll be back later, after closing time. So it's come to that, huh? What's he so happy about? Well, this may not be a very delicate way of putting it, but I think Danny's found himself a new girlfriend. Good. Maybe he won't come around anymore. Hmm, maybe not for a while, but he'll be back. And you'll be glad of it. So will you. Yeah, I suppose so. You know, Julie, one gets used to habits, even bad ones. How he does it, I don't know. Well, I don't know what made me fall for him in the beginning. Well, let's just say that you felt sorry for him, huh? No one ever felt sorry for me. Just a minute, then we'll be on our way. Hey, Julie. Where's Irene? She's at the hospital with me. Could I see you for a second? All right. Down, Julie. Alone? Nope. Is that what Irene gave you the money for? This is all I got. I'll uh, need another hundred. <laughs> Coming to me for help to run off with another girl. You say you won't, that's all. Who is she? Wouldn't you like to know? No, I wouldn't. Yeah, Helen. Take it home. 
hundred and small bills.